Hey everybody, welcome to another quick save review with me, RC. A quick save review is basically a let's play mixed with a review for a game that I'm currently playing. And I'm currently playing Primal Light on Steam. Now you may look at this title screen, you might think Metroid. It's very, you know, the, the helmet that the guy wears or if that's his head, I'm not really sure. I'm not too clear <laughs> on, on this guy's aesthetics here uh, or his anatomy, I should say. But it's not Metroid. It is a 2D platformer though. So you got you got half of it right. Um, so Private, Primal Light is a game that features an astro caveman, as I'm calling him. He's a caveman in space somewhere, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. It's a sci-fi crazy game that could be taking place anywhere. But he's definitely some kind of weird rock caveman dude. But anyway, in Primal Light, your objective, you know, you go left to right, fight bosses, and uh, it's actually really cool. Uh, let's jump in, shall we? I actually have two games here. We're going to jump into the easy mode game first because I'm a little bit further along. I'd rather show off a level I haven't played yet uh, just so I could show off some of the difficulty here. Uh, funny story, I started the game on normal uh, on a really bad day. The day that <laughs> the day that I started this game, I actually got this game, uh, I, I think, the day after it came out. So this came out last week, keep in mind, uh, but it's still worth checking out. You guys go check it out if this looks cool to you. Uh, but when I was playing it, um, I was I was dog tired. Like I had a long day and I came over to play it. I was thinking, OK, this will be fun. This will just be a fun like 2D platformer. But this game actually has some teeth. Uh, it's got some challenge. So, uh, you know. I came to it and uh, I, I played on medium and I got to the boss and died twice. And the reason why I died is because I was rushing it. Uh, we're playing on easy right now because this is a level I have not played before. However, I did play medium right before I started recording this and I was able to beat the first uh, level on uh, a second life. So uh, I'm on easy, it looks like you get more lives and it looks like enemies have less health from what I can tell. It's not completely specific about what the differences are. Um, hmm, I wonder why I can't go through here. I guess I gotta go down first. Uh, but what's really cool about this game, just like most platformers, you go left to right. This one, you can actually go back to areas that you were previously in uh, if you feel like you missed something. Actually, it might be smart to just like go back and forth here and farm these coins because these coins are important uh, for when you get to the end of the level. Before boss, there's gonna be a cloaked dude who will sell you more lives. And you're definitely gonna need them. You can see I have 11 knives here, or rather 11. Not sure what I said. That's not a number. Uh, I have 11 lives here. Um, and it looks like we're about to get a new ability here. You acquired the slide ability. I guess A for ability. Is that what that is? Okay, so it's more like a Mega Man game now, too. Stage 3. This is stage 3. We're finally getting a slide mechanic. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this game is... It's, it's got some teeth, like I said. It's pretty tough. And by that, I mean... Oh, yeah, the coins will just keep coming back. Uh, by that I mean, like, it's a little easier once you determine what it is you gotta do in this game. There's a little bit of a learning curve. Can we take that thing out? Yes, we can. One more hit. There we go. And the learning curve is that he can attack up, he can attack to the side. Uh, but when you're attacking, you can't really move. Um, so you gotta pick your, your moves and your jumps and everything very carefully, because if you do not... Uh, you are not gonna have a good time. Which is what happened to me that night when I was super tired trying to play this game. You can see a lot of times the enemies will take about three hits. Oh, and those bombs, by the way. The developers put those bombs just about everywhere. It's really annoying because you like go to grab something, you think there might be some coins or an extra life in there. No, it's a bomb. Um, but they, they time it in a way so that most enemies take three or four hits and the enemy is going to get a couple attacks in between those hits. Like, the, you're not stunning the enemy. You're not stunlocking them when you hit them. So they're going to keep attacking. So you got to watch out for that. So I'll give you guys some pro tips here as we play. Okay, we got some coins. So this is going to enable that. All right, so we got to be real quick here. Okay, grab that up here. There we go. Skeleton took two hits. Now, it's funny because the enemies do not always have health over their heads. That's another ability I picked up. Uh, I don't know if we can... There's a button to show your stuff to, like, change it out. Oh, is it... There we go. So you can see here's the Emblem of Ur. I picked this up in the second stage. It'll display the enemy health. Uh, the enemy health I don't find to be a super helpful thing to see. 
Oh, another bomb. Uh, reason being is that, you know, there we go, there's some coins that time. You know, it doesn't show how many hits they're, they're gonna take. The health is kind of like, you know, if it's this big, then you're gonna have to kind of guess, I, I suppose, like how much they're gonna take. Uh, but it's not, it's not always specific. Uh, so you're gonna run into this a lot in this game too. It's what I, I guess you would call crossroads. Uh, in the crossroads, you're gonna have to pick between going to two different areas. And this is why I said this is where you can cho choose to come back if you want. So obviously we could take the easy way, and this is actually probably the smart thing to do. Uh, we go to the easy way. These are your bonfires. At the bonfires, you it'll save your game. But I don't believe it saves your games if you lose all your lives. If you lose all your lives, you gotta start back at the beginning of the level. Uh, but if you die at any point while you're playing, like if I lose one of my 11 here, it'll take me back here, which is very helpful. But also, it'll take me back here if I decide to go back and do any of this crazy stuff. So I think it's really cool that you can actually save and then come back and then try the thing, you know? What's in there? Yeah, coins. I'm not too worried about that. All right, if I hit this... It only opens that. Okay, so we gotta be really quick about this. Hit that. Oh, don't get hit. Okay, we're up. Oh, not the bomb. Come on now. So you see, we got a lot of stuff we gotta actually think about dodging here. Oh, that was a bad... That was a really bad time to do that. go. Another bomb. No! Phew, he's crouched. That's one of the other things I was going to say in this game, too, is what you want to do is you want to make sure... I'm doing a lot of this tonight because I'm like, listen, these are tips. You gotta... This game's tough, okay? Um, if you have the ability, because I'm playing on an Xbox controller, if you have the ability to use, like, one of those 8-bit Doe controllers or a controller that has a really good D-pad, this game was built for a D-pad because it is an old-school 2D platformer, and that's the way you ought to play those games, at least in my opinion. Um, this game, I'm using the analog stick to play, and it is a crime. You can use the D-pad on the Xbox controller, but it's just like, you know, the D-pad on the Xbox controller. It's, it's in a weird spot, you know... It feels okay, uh, but you can see when I was crouching down there, I kind of got stuck because of the analog stick, and that is not a good thing. Oh, cool. We got that skeleton out before uh, he was able to get us. Wow, this room looks insane. All right, well, we can jump from there to there up here, and then that's going to do what? What did that, what did that do? Oh, that's what it... Uh, the one way over there? Okay, so you gotta hit that. I see. Okay, so the one way over there on the right actually popped open. Wow, this is gonna be some crazy timing. Okay, let's pop that. Oh, no, I got hit. I'm dead. Oh, jeez. So, <laughs> now this is where you have to make the decision to either go up way over there again or to just keep continuing on. Um... Why would you go back and try that again? Well, it's because this game also has health upgrades. So you can see I have three slivers of health up in the top left. I've made it to the third stage, but I have not gotten any of the health upgrades. I assume there were some in the other levels because I passed up like little areas. Um, but those areas get really, really tough. Um, uh oh, okay, so we got something going on here. It's like a wave-based area, it would seem. Oh, there we go. Got him. Oh, jeez. As soon as he popped in. That ain't cool. Oh, these uh, skeletons that throw their bones, they are pain in the butt when they are above you. One more. There we go. We got through that okay. Uh, you're also going to notice that the three green bars that are behind... I gotta stop doing this pointing thing. It's too much tonight. I feel like I'm telling someone they're being naughty. Uh, oh, look at this. We did actually get something. You found the anonymous charm. <laughs> what does that mean? Temporarily increases strength after ki killing an enemy. Okay. Now, the real question is how many of these can you equip? You can only equip these at the bonfire. Okay, you can equip all of them if you want, so that's cool. Now, the question I have is, is it going to save the fact that I got that even though I wasn't able to hit that bonfire after? There wasn't actually a way to go past that, right? That was all a dead end. 
That's weird. I haven't gotten to a place where... Okay, a dead end like that. Interesting. Okay. Very interesting. Um... I guess we gotta go through the, the tough area. I guess we don't have a choice. Now keep in mind, this is easy mode too. So on easy mode, there are not, it doesn't seem like they put in extra bonfires or checkpoints, uh, which is kind of funny because, uh, you know, they even did that with, uh, oh, this is the one where I gotta be quick. They even did that with Mega Man 11. Mega Man 11, they put in the, the casual mode. No, it's too, too slow. Um, they even put in the casual mode where they basically put a checkpoint at like every screen for the player, which, is kind of cool for kids and, you know, uh, myself, <laughs> in case I don't want to play it, but it's uh, feeling, like, super hard, you know? Alright, hit that. Now go. Coins. Bomb. Oh, no! See, that one was not a bomb last time. I was going to say, at least it's, like, keeps up with what it was previously, right? Uh, so I didn't get to talk, the three green bars that are be uh, below my health up there, those are actually healing points. So if I hit Y at any point when I'm kind of, you know, stationary. Oh, jeez, that sucked. This is a good point to show off the healing, though. It'll heal a little bit. It's not going to heal you full, but it'll heal you a little bit. Um, I f you don't really need to heal full. Uh, you'll be okay. You just got to watch your health. All right, we got to time this a little bit better. Oh, God, that sucks. <laughs> this platforming part, I am not the biggest fan of. Okay. Get up there. So the caveman dude, um, he feels kind of heavy at times. I think it's the best way to describe him. Now, wait. Is it out? It's back in now. But he feels very heavy. Like, if you go to do jumps with him, sometimes he just feels like like a big lurch of a dude, like, you know, jumping around. Um, he is not very good at dodging stuff with a jump. And the jump sometimes, like, I feel like the developers purposely put the platforms sometimes, like, as far away from stuff as they could be. Uh, because that jump sometimes is just, like, super annoying to try to make. We're gonna do this one again. There's a fast way to slide down the ladder, but not a fast way to go up. Oh, no. He got stuck on the ladder again. Alright. All about timing here. We don't want to drop, because if we hit those spikes, we're done. we got to start it all over again. God! Okay. Up. Over. Jump it. Oh, God, they put an enemy there. Of course they did. Wow, they still did not give us a save point here. Holy crap. Uh, I don't feel very good about that. Alright, we gotta time this right. Alright, we made it. Still no save point. Oh, jeez. So there's going to be a way to open up that gate. There have previously... We're going to take this thing out. I hate these, these guys here. They're so annoying. Uh, it's one of my other favorite things about this game too, are those bouncy coins. Sometimes they'll hit the ground and just bounce all the way back up so you can collect them. <laughs> That's pretty fun. Um, yeah, so there's going to be a lever somewhere for that gate to open. Sometimes, believe it or not, look at that. I was just going to say, you can hit a wall, a suspicious wall, and it'll open up a gate. So, there we have it. And we got a save point. So my question is, and I'm only going to check this out real quick. Because I wanted to see what was on the other side. Oh, it's a different save point. Huh. So the real question is, is that area going to be like super difficult to deal with? We'll find out, I guess, in a moment. Because we're going to check it out. Oh yeah, we got some crazy platforming to do here, it looks like. Jump, jump. Oh jeez, okay. This should be very interesting. Alright, we gotta wait... ...about there. Oh, nope, that ain't gonna do it. Nope, nope! Whew, at least I didn't die, okay. 
I guess we'll use up one of our other heals. Though it doesn't really matter, because we hit those spikes, we're instant, instantly dead anyway. Oh, we made it! Okay. I hope there's something good at the end of this. Oh, what an idiot I am. I jumped right into it. Oh, jeez. Can't believe I made that. I I got a fragment of Ra. We'll find out what that is in just a second. Uh, let's see. We hit that. Slightly decreases slide cooldown. Okay, so there you go. You can only have two equipped at once. Okay. Uh, so, uh, the night that I was having a hard time with this game playing the first stage, you guys might find that funny because that first stage, now that I go back to it, is pretty simple. However, uh, it makes me laugh because the real problem was that I tried to pay attention to the tutorials as best as I can. The tutorials are basically just white lines of text at the bottom like you see there uh, when we go to equip this. You know, when it, you go to we go to equip this and it's just like, oh, by the way... Uh, you can only equip two charms. That's the kind of text that popped popped up, you know So it made me laugh because when I went to go play on easy I played through that level again and it gave me the tutorial and I didn't know about the healing part So that completely changed the game for me having that that healing ability All right, we got him there wait till he walks back. Oh He got one off all right, so this should be interesting. Okay, we were able to kill him first, too. That's great. We are going to heal for sure, because I feel like that guy is just going to take a swipe at me as soon as I get up there. Uh, in addition to the slide, you actually do have a roll. If you're running, you can hit B and roll. Um... I should probably start using that a bit more. I kind of forget that I have it, though, because I'm, I'm paying so close attention to, like, what I'm doing at the moment um, that I forget that I have the little roll ability. So I should probably keep that in mind more. Okay, get that guy. Keep on moving here. All right, so we got this guy. We're gonna stay down here and just hit him from the bottom. I cheap shot him a bit, but whatever. I am okay with that. These guys are the ones that are annoying, how they throw their bones from like way down there. But they could still somehow get to you. Come on, dude. I'm waiting for you to come down at me. Did he go off the screen? All right, that was weird. <laughs> I guess I'll take it though. We got that guy. All right, watch out for the bones as they land. Okay. No bomb. Good, good. And also no save point. Ah! <laughs> they really like throwing those bombs in there, don't they? Such a troll thing to do, isn't it? Didn't, wasn't able to get one. I love, I love getting those coins as they bounce back. It's so fun. All right, what do we got here? Oh, geez, really? Ugh. All right, so we got to drop there. How much time do we get? We don't get a lot of time. Okay, we just got to do it. Woo! They do not give you a lot of time for that, do they? Or for that, either. No, it is the worst. The worst is when you're playing a game that is challenging, and then your back has an itch out of nowhere. <laughs> that is the worst. Uh, coins. There we go. I got a bouncy one. All right, here is a save point. I feel good about that. What do we got here? The first prisoner was from the south. The second, the east. South, east, west. Whatever that all means. What's in these candles? 
Coins, I'll take them. So we got some kind of puzzle thing to figure out? Is that what I'm... what they're getting at here? Alright, we'll take that guy out first. And... Move along here. I'm gonna take that thing out too. There we go. Those things, I think, are the most annoying thing in the game. Shooting this stupid fireball everywhere. Oh my god. Super annoying. But I guess as long as you figure out how to deal with them, right? Make the jump. Alright, what do we got going on here? This is some weird... Some real weird platforming. See this? So this is what I was talking about where, like, you need to sort of pick your... Pick your spots to attack. Like, it's parts like that. Like, the night that I was, like, tired and just, like, not dealing with it... Grab those. Um, I was really rushing it. And uh, the enemies were getting cheap shots on me. I was dying all over the place. It was just, it was just not fun. Uh, and it was my fault because I wasn't paying attention. Can I break this? Yes, I can. Now, anything behind these wooded areas seems to be. What the hell is this? I, I don't even know. I remember that he said something about the prisoners. He said south, east, and west, but I don't see anything here that would represent those things. These just look like a bunch of random skulls. No idea. Can we also talk about... Oh, jeez, that was annoying. Can we also talk about how uh, beautiful the pixel work, pixel art work is in this game? I feel like I haven't mentioned it. But, like, the animation, the uh, the artwork in this, like, everything just looks really, really good. Uh, it's it's properly que uh, creepy. Okay, we got that guy. I, I uh, did see a really funny forum post on the Steam forums, though, about this game. It made, made me laugh. Oh, no! Wow, I can't believe I'm still alive. We want to go to this one. I'm going to try to take that thing out first. Because it is going to be really annoying to deal with if I don't. A uh, really funny Steam forum post, though, that I saw was... Uh, basically, uh, this guy... He, I think he said something like, uh, you know, he, he didn't like the theme of the game. He's like, I'm not really into space cavemen. As if, like, that's like a normal interest or something. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I, I guess you're not, but... Did you have a choice before? I don't know. Like, let me tell you. I am not into space cavemen. Oh god, there's two of these dudes? Oh yeah, you got me there. Wow. Man, I really want to make it to a boss here, but this level is pretty long. We got that dude. We got that guy. Okay, good. One thing I really would have liked with this character too is like some kind of ranged weapon. Like a, even if he threw like a stone or something, man. Something would be would be great. Anything. <laughs> There are times where I'm just like, man, I would like to hit that guy with something, and I don't have the option. Alright, we're gonna try something with these skulls here. We got a lot of lives. Okay, you said south, east, and west. Oop. Like that?
it was southeast west right does it change between hey look at that we got a thing hey we got a max heals increase okay so it's not max health it increases your max heals so we can heal four times now instead of three that's actually pretty awesome Weird fireball polyp thing. Ah, oh, you jerk. Yeah, I didn't check. Yeah, we did die. We still have our, our runes, so that's sweet. Ah. Just trying to take my time here. A little bit more would have in the past. Okay, we were able to kill him pretty quickly. Oh, didn't make that jump. But we will make that one. Up we go. Oh, of course it's a bomb. Oh, geez, I took that one. <laughs> that jump very liberally. I gotta be a little bit more careful. Okay, hit the slide here. Uh, the other thing I want to point out with the artwork, too, with this game is that um, you are getting different tile sets. So you may see this one. This one's got kind of like a medieval cave type of look to it almost. Um, the very first level, uh, I think, has been my favorite tile set so far. And uh, that is just like, I believe it's like where this guy is from, his home planet or his home land or whatever it is. Um, it's got like a very earthy, like nature, naturey look to it, and I, I dig that. Oh, you got me. We got a heal. Luckily, we got that extra heal, huh? Okay, we're heading up. This looks unique. Hopefully, there's a save up here. This is pretty cool. Nice aesthetics in this game. Really, really dig it. So, as you can see here, even though the game has, and there's the guy who's going to sell us lives, uh, even though this game has uh, only nine stages in it, you may be like, only nine? You can see here that it has taken me uh, about a half hour to get through this stage, and I didn't really fully explore everything, did I? Did I go through everything? There had to have been something I missed. But anyway, we're going to buy some extra lives from this guy. And usually he only has two. So we bought our two, we're back up to 11, which is great. We actually didn't do too bad there, considering we're back up to 11. These crazy, oh, jeez. Are they all gonna be bombs? Yeah, they are. Uh, look at these crazy face things here. All right, let's go check out this, whatever we're fighting here. Cool looking boss. Oh, jeez. I'm dead. That was quick. I didn't even have time to like really so I, I didn't take my own advice there I started hitting him before like trying to learn his pattern so this game uh, I, I like that it had the sliding mechanism because you know like to say that it's like Mega Man because this game is a little like Mega Man in that it is going to have a little bit of that trial and error feel to it that is to say you are probably gonna have to play a boss like a couple times to really feel it out and understand what he's gonna do All right, so now we know we can dodge those things there. Duck. Oh. Oh, jeez. Heal. Oh, okay. So he just decided to attack there. Oh, my God. Heal. Wow. I am just not doing this quickly enough, am I? I got four heals. I just gotta, like I said, I gotta, I said earlier, I gotta really pick my moments here. I gotta be careful. Okay, duck. Okay, now he's gonna rise. Nope. Oh, oh just stop ducking, dude. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Oh, duck. Ugh, heal. Oh my god. Heal. Oh my god, I, I keep getting hit. I I cannot find a good spot to do this. Oh 
Oh my god. Heal. Oh god! I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Duck. Oh my god. Oh, of course. I feel like that is like the cheapest thing in this game. That move there. He's gonna hit me right now. Okay. This boss so far has definitely been the hardest in the game. Can I buy more? No. <laughs> I'm down to eight health or eight lives already here. Oh my god. Duck. Oh jeez. I gotta get more hits in. I'm kind of just like sitting here. Heal. Get away. Duck. He's gonna do the lightning thing. Get away! Oh, jeez. Come on, that's cheap. Duck. God damn. This is one of those games, it's like during a boss fight, my face is just gonna get flush and red because I'm <laughs> trying so hard to get this guy. That was the best round I've had against him there. Okay, it looks like the lightning always goes the opposite way of where he's bouncing or flying. Not bouncing, he's flying. I mean, he does eventually bounce. Ugh. Heal. Of course. Frustration is real. And I'm playing on easy. So I can't even imagine how many hits this guy is going to have to take on normal. I feel like I got his pattern down, but I'm just like not... I guess I'm just not committing it enough to memory. Oh my god, enough with these things, dude. Okay, he shoots behind him. Get away. with these things, dude. Ah, I totally flubbed and missed him there. Screw off. That sucks. Duck. Jeez. Oh, you're throwing him out again immediately? Ah, heal. No, didn't mean to do that. Oh my god, Jesus. God, that lightning attack, I hate that. I hate when he does like two or three of those in a row, too. Alright, I don't know how many more <laughs> I can deal here. Oh, boy.
throw him. There we go. Nope, that's gonna hit me, of course. Roll. Roll. You guys see what I mean where I say that this game is definitely more about picking your spots and dodging than it is about hitting. Hit me right there. Go, get away. His tells about like when he's gonna attack and what attack he's gonna do suck. They really suck because like I can't tell if he's about to bounce, if he's about to do the lightning thing. Like he goes to bounce and it's just like, well, which one is he doing? That's what I really gotta do. I gotta focus more on hitting this douche. I really don't remember the last time like a platformer has really frustrated me this much. Ah, shh. The thing that sucks too is that his lightning does so much damage. Oh, now that's all he's gonna do. That was a mistake. Throw those stupid things out again. Oh, I rolled right into it. Rolled right into it again. Jumped right into him and walked right into it. Okay, cool. Well, I could definitely say that I am not having fun with this boss. I am not, not having a good time with this one. The other two bosses I had fun with, you know, they took a few tries, you figure out their pattern, you take them out. This guy, I don't know how many damn hits he's got to take. I quit throwing these stupid things out, how about that? Wow, I can't believe I think I hit right there. Whew. Oh. I swear I definitely need a ranged weapon to take this guy out. Oh.
duck. Ah! I can't believe I didn't get a hit there. I was getting greedy as I go for another hit. Fucker. Alright, guys. I think that's all I can take. I know I got two lives back, but oh my god. I don't know if I can do this again. Oh my god, I feel like I get further and further each time, but like, I'm just not quite getting it. Mm. It's like hurt, kind of hurting my my heart and my soul here. But for you guys, I will at least play through my, my lives here. I just can't believe the platforming is so easy compared to this fucking boss. Excuse my language. Excuse my French. Every time. Can't believe I didn't get hit there. I knew he was going to throw out the stupid things. Oh my lord. Of course. I hate you. I hate this guy. Oh, wow, I can't believe he didn't hit me right there. Come on! That, that lightning tell sucks shit! I'm just, I'm just over this guy. Seriously, I'm, I'm big, t big time, big time over this. Wish they give you some kind of indicator that you're like taking the guy out, like, or at least that you're close or something, right? Like, how about flash, flashing red boss or something like that? Like anything, let you know that it's close. Because it reminds me a little bit of like, uh, I don't know if you guys played Blazing Chrome. I, I definitely did a uh, quick save review for it last year when it came out on Game Pass. Um, but that game offered. A, a few more things, you know, for you to, uh... <sighs> Offered a, a little bit more in the, in the category, you know, when you played on easy to, like, kind of help you out. This game is just basically, like... <sighs> it's like, fuck you. Easy's still fucking hard. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with this boss. 
But it ain't working for me, I'll tell you that. Can't believe I didn't get hit there. I'm hitting the wrong button. I'm getting so frustrated I'm hitting the wrong button. I meant to hit attack. And I'm hitting the roll button. supposed to heal. Don't get up! Alright, well let's just see where we continue at from here. Oh, right, from the very beginning like I thought. Okay, cool. Well, uh... <laughs> That might be a situation where I probably don't come back to this uh, because, wow, is that frustrating. I just went through, what was it, 11 lives and didn't take the dude out. So there you have it, Primal Light. Man, that really sucks too because I really, really dig the platforming in this game. And even on easy mode, I'm having a hard time. Like, man, I don't know. I, I was really having fun up until that boss. So I don't know, guys. Anyway, that's Primal Primal Light. Make your own decision. Maybe you think I suck, you know, and if you think that, then hey, <laughs> more power to you. That's totally fine. You can have your opinion. But man, I am uh, definitely not happy with the way that turned out. Uh, anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for watching. And of course, I'll see you all next time. Uh -huh.